If we examine the intervals, the 12 intervals within an octave that we've been looking at, as a group it also is cyclic because it has actually four generator elements. Um, 1, 5, 7, and 11. 1 generates the following sequence. Uh, 5, we have 5, 10, 10 plus 5 is 3, mod 12 plus 3 is 8, and, or plus 5 is 8, and so on. Uh, 7, similarly, mod 12, 7 plus 7 is 2, plus 7 is 9, and, and so on. And then 11, we see the following sequence. Uh, what's really interesting, though, is what, what these elements represent. If we look back at our uh, correspondence table, we see that uh, 1 equals the minor second. Uh, so essentially, this sequence generated by this as a generator uh, is an ascending chromatic scale. Now the, the inverse element of 1 is 11, which is also a generator element. If we look at the table here, 11, uh, the minor 7th, plus 11 is uh, 10, which is B flat, plus 11, mod 12 is A. So the 11 uh, generates the, the whole group in a sequence of ascending uh, major 7th, which is the same as descending minor 2nds. So we're basically ascending chromatically or descending chromatically using these as generator elements. What's really interesting is when we look at the other two generator elements, 5 and 7, what these represent are the perfect 4th and perfect 5th respectively. So basically, uh, these are the circle of 5ths and its inverse, which is the circle of 4ths. Uh, so we, we see C to G to D, to A, to E, to B, and so forth. Uh, so the opposite would be 5, which is the circle of fourths, and uh, we can check that as well. So uh, next we'll start to look at permutation groups and subgroups.